Hello! Welcome to this Sunday's episode of the Shamir Shell Project. We have arrived. You're wondering where? This is pretty cool. You want to see this. I'm excited. I'm going to get you excited. It's a waterfall. It's a secret hidden waterfall. We're going to hike there. We're going to find the waterfall and maybe dip our feet in there if we get a chance. We'll see how that goes. Let's go. That's right, we're heading towards a waterfall. I hope we find it. This is a little private road and then it goes off on a trail deep in the woodlands and follow the trail, apparently follow the trail to this waterfall. I'm excited. It's called Tillingbourne Waterfall and it I think it's not that big, not that high, but it is big enough to appreciate and to actually want to dip your feet in. So we are at Tillingbourne Waterfall near Wooten and that is deep in the middle of the Surrey Hills. So let's keep hiking and see where it takes us. Guys, this is what adventures are about. This is what the next generation will miss out on if you don't get these little kids out and about on little adventures, looking for little things in nature which could completely change their outlook in the future and what life could be like if we can respect, protect and enjoy this wilderness absolutely amazing what they're going to miss out on so get them out and about on little adventures so don't think it's long to go now apparently it was only meant to be about about a mile half a mile to a mile so I think we're getting there it's really hot it is really warm I know places in Europe right now it's about 40 degrees there's a heat wave going on and hiking in this heat can take its toll I am warm I'm very warm but it's not long to go There's a little river there in the distance. Can you see it? 
I'm not sure you can see it in the camera, but it's right there running along here. Guys, how spectacular is this? Just look at it. This is the sort of thing you wouldn't find by driving around on roads or sticking to public ways. You wouldn't find this. I'm not saying go onto private land and start adventuring on people's private land. What I am saying is micro adventures are made to be adventures and therefore you don't have to stick to the main road or hikes that you know which are accessible by the public. You can come through the public areas, go along some public bridleways which goes through private land, see things like this and then move on, continue walking back out to wherever you were going. There's no harm in that. One thing to remember is leave no trace. I've said this before and I'll say it again, leave no trace of you actually being there. Apart from your footsteps, there should be absolutely no trace of you. So anything rubbish wise you bring with you, take it back with you. Put it in your backpack, in your pockets and take it with you. Let's keep hiking to this waterfall. It's not long to go. I know it's a very short hike. Can you hear it? We're not far from it. Not at all. I can hear it. Let's go check it out. So I'm not 100% sure this is a public bridal way. I think it is. I think it is. But that's the waterfall on someone's private land. Brilliant. Let's see if we can get closer. Okay, it's spectacular. But this is the closest we can get, guys. Unfortunately, like I said, this is private land. And so we can't get any closer to this pool. But here we go. There it is. From what I can see, that's a five tier drop. I'm sure it's a lot higher. It's probably much higher than that. But I can see five tiers of rolling water. Oh, it's stunning. It's beautiful. It's a shame we can't get any closer though. I'd like to dip my feet in there. So remember the Tillingbourne waterfall close to the village of Wooten and deep within the Surrey Hills, an area of outstanding natural beauty. It truly is outstanding and that to me is a mini adventure in its own right. I love it. I love it. It's a shame I can't, I can't dip my feet in there. It's a real shame, I really wanted to. I was looking forward to that. On a hot day like this, that would have been the most cooling thing ever. Stick my feet in there, wash my face in the water. Oh yeah, that would have been lovely. Oh well, oh well. I must say, I've seen some spectacular 
waterfalls all over the world and some of the most spectacular ones I've seen that really empower you when you're there in person are the waterfalls in Iceland. Iceland has some incredible waterfalls. I believe they have over a hundred different types, uh, magnitudes of waterfalls. Of course, you'll normally hear of like 10, 15 of the biggest and the best ones, but Iceland has over a hundred. And it, it's absolutely fabulous what waterfalls does for you when you're standing there in front of it. But nevertheless, we've seen Tillingbourne waterfall, which we just saw. So it's been a micro, micro adventure, to say the least. Uh, about three quarters to a mile there, three quarters to a mile back to where I'm parked. Uh, all in all, it's been good. It's been adventurous. And like I said, for kids, for the next generation to actually appreciate little adventures of this type is more than you actually think is worth to them. It's something that they will cherish for the rest of their lives. Something that they will think about and tell their kids about. I did this with my dad. I did this with my mom. I did this with my parents. And it was all in the outdoors. And they, in turn, will inspire their children and the next generation and so on. So, guys, please remember this Shamir Shah project is all about protecting, inspiring, respecting, and enjoying the outdoors for you and for your children and the generations after. Because without our wilderness and our nature, life would not exist. None of this that we're surrounded by, including cities and cars and places to stay and all that wouldn't exist if it wasn't for wilderness, nature and the land that we carefully tread on. So please make life for your kids an adventure. Make it something they will remember for the rest of their lives. And that's it from me really for this micro micro adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, all that's left for me to say is guys, please go ahead and let me know in the comment section what you think of the Tillingbourne waterfall and micro adventure. <laughs> let me know what you think. I really want to hear from you. If you've liked what you've seen so far, please go ahead and smash that like button. Give me a like there. At the same time, go ahead and subscribe right there or down here if you're not a subscriber. And I will see you out and about.